Hi everyone, this is Mom Loves AG Dolls too, and today I am redoing our dollhouse, which is in my daughter's room. And what I wanted to do is share with you how I chose a bookcase to become a dollhouse because it was requested by a young lady, and right now I don't know her name, but when I research it before I upload this video, I will give her the credit in the description. Now this bookshelf that I have here I think is perfect for a dollhouse and by perfect I mean when I went shopping for it I decided to take a doll with me. So you can take um, any 18 inch doll and what you want is for her to be able to stand and of course you want the shelves to be adjustable. In this particular case here this was our living room and so most of the time the dolls are sitting so as you can tell if I stand her up here her head will not quite fit maybe it's also her ponytail <laughs> let's see there we go that's a little better okay once I can stand her up sorry I'm trying to do this one-handed um, if I can stand her up then I know that that's a good room size right there because the shelf adjusts now down here I made um, this one of the bedrooms and what I love about this shelf is the length because the length from this end to this end is very long and most shelves are not as you can see from this other shelf that used to be in my son's bedroom that I'm gonna go ahead and turn into a second dollhouse or part of the dollhouse because I'm getting rid of the open shelf. I didn't like the open shelf because it doesn't have a back like these bookshelves do. See how it has a back? The open shelf that I had was literally open on the back so things would fall. So I really didn't like it. But we did use it for a while. And sorry I'm huffing and puffing. I've been uh, cleaning. So I'm going to pan out to show you all the uh, furniture that I have on the floor here. So this is all the mess that I've made. My daughter is at a cheer game, and so I'm trying to redecorate the dollhouse room for her, which is in her bedroom, and surprise her when she gets back. So hopefully I can do this before she gets back. So the best way to pick a bookshelf, first take a doll with you. You do want to stand her to make sure that you can adjust the shelves enough so that she will fit. So that's the second level. Here is the first level. And usually most shelves have an actual shelf that cannot be moved. This one is adjustable. So I can actually lower it one more if I wanted to. And it's got, um, you can see the little holes here. Sorry, the lighting in this room is not very good. But these little holes come with a little clip that you can adjust. But most have one shelf that does not adjust and that would be this one. So once I made this one this height, I cannot adjust the second level here any higher than what it is now, which is actually perfect because it fits the doll standing, which she was. <laughs> and then you can move up to the third level and do the same thing. Now here, you can see that she's not quite fitting. So you can adjust the shelf up here to make her fit. Um, we are almost at the last level. I see one little slot there. So I can move it up one more and then maybe it will fit. So um, I'm going to try to see if I can do that one handed while I'm showing you guys. But I am holding the iPad so it's hard. So let me move down one level so I can show you what else I did to pick a bookshelf. I also needed a bookshelf that was wide enough. And wide would be, let's see if you can see how she's sitting. Wide would be from the back to the front. So once you sit a doll down, she should be able to have at least a little bit of room from where her legs end. So if she's sitting all the way out here, then the shelf is a little bit too narrow and you know you're not going to be able to sit the doll properly because her legs will always be like hanging out. And also wide furniture like beds, like for instance this bed. Um, would not fit also. As you can see, this bed just fit. 
it is literally right on the edge see right there so if the bed was a little wider it would not fit at all so with the doll that allows you to be able to tell is my furniture my 18 inch doll furniture gonna fit if you have enough space yes it will fit and when you make the uh, shelves adjustable you of course are gonna make them so that she can actually stand in each room so with a five shelf bookcase such as this one you're gonna probably end up making it either three shelves or in our case four shelves and what I did was up here because it is so tiny this little space is almost the size yeah just about the size of my hand you can't fit much in there so that one we use for storage so you can put like extra things up there so here you have storage or an attic one room two rooms three rooms so if you want more than that see I had to take out an extra shelf from this um, bookcase in order to make it the right height for the dolls so I cannot use this so what we do is we use this as a bowling alley <laughs> um, but I had to move it because I'm trying to adjust all the rooms so over here is where I actually have the kitchen but I'm gonna go ahead and switch it and I'm gonna make this because the length is so much longer the length from this edge to this edge is so much longer than this bookshelf which is much shorter I'm going to go ahead and make this the bedrooms that way I can fit a bedroom um, a bed of any kind and I can have room for like a little dresser which we use um, jewelry boxes and things like that as dressers so I'm trying to grab a jewelry box from behind me so I can show you see how cute it looks but the problem is when I put this bed over here where the kitchen is which I did I tried it because that's the new shelf and it would have been easier to leave everything that was over here there and just make this the bedroom when I put the bedroom in to this little shelf there's like hardly any room to fit like something else like a little dresser so a short shelf like this one which is the average size of bookshelves this one too had five levels going all the way up but you can adjust it so again I took out one of the shelves because I'm not gonna need it and it always has like I said one that you cannot adjust in this case it's this one and in this case it is that one right above Sage's head so when I put the kitchen here I had to adjust it as high as the top of the kitchen would allow and that would be the height of the doll so let me bring Sage so I can show you but that left me with a huge open space in the ceiling so I had to put a shelf there and then that's my little leftover space so let me stand up Sage and you can see that because the kitchen is very tall Sage has a lot of room from her head to the top of the shelf but I can't lower it anymore because then it would hit the top of the kitchen and the next um, little hole is like right here so the kitchen actually wouldn't even fit whoops sorry that was uh, lightning <laughs> okay so that is how you should pick a bookshelf and this one here is like normal size bookshelf these you can find anywhere and let me see if I can measure it for you I have the tape measure around here and I just lost it ah here it is on the floor okay I'm gonna measure it just to show you what a typical bookshelf is in terms of length and width okay so right here this looks like it's about 11 and a half inches for a bookshelf and that really is the average width I believe of most bookshelves now when you turn it lengthwise this one I think is also average Oops. okay I'm gonna have to switch hands average in length as well so the length on this guy I don't really like I think it's too short so let me just hold that there for a second so that I can do this it's hard to do one-handed okay here we go it looks like it hits at about oh boy hold on 
that about, I wanted to say 25 inches, but I think it's a little longer. 25. Okay, this is not easy to do one-handed at all. Let me push it over again. There we go. And... Doo -doo 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 -doo. Oh my goodness, nope, I cannot do this one-handed, so excuse me for one moment. I will put the iPad down here on Sage's legs, and I will measure it for you and let you know. It is actually about 26 and a half inches in length. So that is an average length for a bookcase, but if you can find one like this one, where the width is the same, let me measure that, because I believe the width on this one is the same. So, yep, 11 and a half. If you can find one where the length is even longer than the average of like 26 inches, which is a little over two feet, I'm going to measure this one. So, let me put this down for a sec. Whoa, sorry. And I'm going to tell you the total of this one. Yeah, this one is such a nice length. It is actually 34 inches. So, let me um, pan here on the 34 right there. So, from one end to the other end it is 34 inches in length now I find that that is hard to find in like an average regular store like Walmart Target Kmart what I'm finding is this shelf all the time and this one you can make do as you can see but if you want to add more stuff to the room besides just a bed then you're gonna need a little bit more length and let me show you what I mean by moving this out of the way. Which I should have done beforehand, but as I started to do this, I remember that somebody requested this video. So I thought, this is perfect since I'm mixing everything around and moving everything in and out anyway. That's why I'm huffing and puffing, sorry. <laughs> it's like exercise, going up and down the stairs, trying to find the feather duster and all the things that I need. So this is good exercise, cleaning up and organizing. Who knew? <laughs> so, okay, I'm trying to move the bed one-handed again. But here we go. And I'm going to show you that if I put a big bed such as this, and 18-inch beds for dolls will be, you know, this length anyway. This one just happens to be um, bunk bed, so it's a little taller. So I'm guessing that this one is similar in size to, say, the uh, loft bed that they sell from Journey Girls, which my daughter would like, but we haven't bought that and I don't think right now we need it I think we have enough beds but look how cute it looks it does fit as I said because you adjust the shelves but look at the little itty bitty space that you have left so it's hard to put you know something else in the room which is not fun because you always want to add like a dresser and see you wouldn't be able to fit a dresser because the uh, length is so short that nothing else fits. So that is how you can pick a bookshelf to turn it into a room. And this one I actually found at a thrift store, the one with the big long length. So if you can find one of these at a thrift store, I would highly recommend it. This you can find anywhere. And they're not that expensive. I think you can get it on sale for like $25 or so. I paid the same, I believe, for this one. I think it was maybe $30. And it was used, of course. But it works so much better. And I wish I could find another one like this, but it's being very difficult. So I'm going to make do with this one and put it next to this one. So thank you so much for watching. I will give the uh, channel for the young lady who requested how to make, how to turn a bookshelf into a dollhouse. And then I will show you guys the outcome of um, how I arranged everything. So thank you all so much for watching. Bye.